Hello friends, welcome to Codefresh Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to reverse a number in Java. So we have already learned how to reverse a string in Java. So that video you can also see. Now in this video, we will learn how to reverse a number in Java. So let's first understand the logic to reverse a number in Java. So here, if we have a number as 5, 2, 3, 4, then what we need to do, we will need to make use of while loop and we will continue the while loop till number becomes 0 or when number is not equal to 0. So currently our number is 5, 2, 3, 4. So what we need to do, we need to reverse a number, right? So whatever the last digit present inside the original number, we want to make it as the first. So what we can do, we need to get the last digit here because our reverse string will or the reverse number will start from the number 4 then 3 then 2 then 5. So we need to get the last digit here. So which is at the unit place. So how we can get the last digit? So you need to divide the number by 10 but we need to make use of this modulus operator right because this will provide us the remainder. So if you say num divided by 10 in this case so what we will get? So you will get the value as 4 because this will be the reminder when you divide by 10. So in the digit you will have the value as 4. Now what we will do, we will have another variable called reversed which will initially assign to 0. Okay. So now this reversed, what we will do, we will say reversed into 10. So in the first iteration it will be 0 because current initially it is having the value as 0. So 0 into 10 will be 0 plus digit. So digit is having the value 4. So reversed will have the value as 4 and then we will update the number because each time we will need to update the number. So what we need to do, we need to remove the last digit from the number be because we have already made use of this 4. Now inside this reversed we already have the 4. Now next time we just want to have the number till 5, 2, 3. So what we will do, we will make use of this particular operator because it will remind us or it will give us the question. So whatever number we have, so currently our number is 5, 2, 3, 4. So when it is divided by 10, we will get the quotient as 5, 2, 3. So our number is now updated to 5, 2, 3. So 5, 2, 3 is equal to 0. No, right? It is not equal to 0. So inside the loop, we will say 5, 2, 3 divided by 10. Now this will give us the reminder. Now 5, 2, 3, we will get inside the digit as 3 and reversed we already have 4 so what it will do 4 into 10 it will be 40 40 plus what is currently in digit it is 3 so what it will give me 43 now we have the reverse number as 4 3 now what we will do we will update the num again so currently our num is 5 2 3 so it will say 5 2 3 divided by 10 so it will give me the quotient will, will be 5 2 now our number is 5 2 so 52 is not equal to 0 right so now in the digit we will get the unit number. So currently our number is 52. So 52 divided by 10 it will be 2 right because it will give me the reminder. So it will have the value as 2. Now our reversed is having the number as 43. So 43 into 10 it will give me 430. Okay. 430 plus digit. What is having in the digit 2? So what it will say 432. So our reverse number is now 432 and now we will update the num so num is currently 52 so 52 divided by 10 it will be give me the quotient so it will be having the value as 5 right now 5 is not equal to 0 right so we will say here num divided by 10 so 5 divided by 10 it will give me 5 because 5 is the remainder in this case now in the reverse we already have 432 so 432 into 10 it will give me 4320 right plus 5 we will add so it will become 4 3 2 5 so this is our reverse now 4 3 2 5 and now we will update the number again so currently in the number we have 5 so 5 divided by 10 we will get the quotient at 0 now 0 because currently our number has become 0 so 0 is not equal to 0 so this condition is false this condition is true so it will not go inside the loop and we will get the value of reverse so what is the last value of reverse it is 4325 so this are the steps in which you can get the 
reverse of a number so just what you need to do in the first step you need to continue till number becomes zero okay and you need to get always the unit place of a number that you can get using this particular expression number divided by 10 then you need to have this logic where in the initially in the reverse you will have the zero you need to say reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus digit you can give any name to this variable and in the last step you need to update this number so each time you need to get get rid of this unit place so you need to divide that number by 10 so let's see in our code how you can make use of this particular statements so here i have a reverse number class and inside this class i have one main method now let's write the code so you will say int num let's give the same value to the number 5234 so we will say here 5234 so this is our number here and we will have another number in say r num so which stands for reverse of this particular num and we will assign the value as 0 to it initially and then we will implement the logic that we have learnt now so we will continue the while loop while num not equal to 0 and what we need to do first we need to take the unit place here so how we can get this unit place you need to declare one variable int digit and here you will say num divided by 10 so this will provide me the reminder here okay after this we need to update the re reverse of this particular number so what we need to do make use of this variable rnum so i will say here uh, rnum is equal to rnum into 10 okay into 10 and then we need to add the digit here so once we have added to this reverse number then what we need to do we need to update the number so how to update the number number is equal to number now this time we need to make use of this operator because this will give us the quotient here divided by 10 and after that we will print here this is out we will print here rnum now let's run this code so see we are getting here the output as 4325 we have provided the number as 5234 and we are getting the reverse of it so these are the steps in which in which you can get the reverse of a string so to understand it better let's say i print here sys out now let's print the rnum also let's print here rnum rnum and let's print the number also so we will see what is happening in each iteration here so num num now let's take a smaller number here let's say i take here six two one so three digit number if i run this code so let's see how it's working okay so our number is six two one now right so six two one is not equal to zero so first time what will be the value in the digit number divided by 10 so 621 divided by 10 it will give us the remainder which will have the value as 1 so now digit is having the value 1 reverse num is initially having the value as 0 right so what it will say 0 into 10 0 plus 1 so it will have the value r name is equal to 1 and now we will update the number so number is 621 so 621 divided by 10 it will give us the quotient which will be 62 now in the second iteration 62 is not equal to 0 right so it will go inside the loop now 62 divided by 10 so it will give me the reminder which will be 2 now in the digit we will have the value as 2 now our rnum was 1 right rnum was initially 1 here so 1 into 10 it will be 10 10 plus 2 it will be 12 so rnum we are getting here 12 after that we will update the number so number is currently 62 so 62 divided by 10 it will give us the quotient which will be 6 so number is 6 so 6 is not equal to 0 right so in the digit here 6 divided by 10 it will give me the reminder which will be 6 so digit is currently having 6 now in the next step rnum into 10 so rnum was 12 right so 12 into 10 120 120 plus 6 it will be 1 to 6 so our r number will be 1 to 6 and now we will update the number so number is currently 6 so 6 divided by 10 it will give me quotient which will be 0 and 0 is not equal to 0 so that condition becomes 
false so it will not go inside the loop and then we will get the rnum so rnum was last time it was 126 so we are getting here 126 so in this way you can reverse a number in java so that's it in this video we will cover another coding questions in the next video thank you for watching